this is an ST2. I'm going to do a throttle body setup on it. Just show you around the bits I'm getting to. Camera's in my hand if it looks odd. Okay, the first thing to get to is the manifold vacuum or balance port point horizontal cylinder is in there. Just get that out. And a thicker screwdriver. This is the vacuum port for the vertical cylinder. The exhaust gas takeoff point for the vertical, much the same as the ST4S. And the horizontal exhaust gas takeoff point. So I'll hook the gear up and get into it. These are the exhaust gas probes I use. This is an eighth gas fitting on the end. It's actually tapered on these fittings, but the plugs are straight thread in the bike. And it's got a piece of special hose on the end that doesn't let hydrocarbons out. And a little Bosch filter just to trap moisture and stuff as it goes through. These, these are a, actually a Ducati part which we bought because it was the easiest way to get it years ago. I've got a couple. One has a, a nice big bend in it. The balance gauges I'm using are the Motion Pro Mercury sticks. I use these. I've been using these for years. I quite like them. I've got one of the, the Carby Tune things as well that I don't really like as much as these. It's preference. Uh, this is all hooked in. We're hooked into my light go hooked into the inlet manifold on the horizontal here and the same on the vertical just here and uh, this one actually has stain tunes on it it's going to be fairly loud I might give you an example of mixture into the actual muffler as well I've got this long tube and it, as you can see it goes down towards the front of the muffler or well into the down towards the header pipe so we'll check the mixture in that when we're done usually the mixture you get in the muffler here will be an average of the other two and sometimes if you don't you can only get one plug out and you can only fit one of these into one of the header pipes you uh use this put put, put this one in and then you try and make the the muffler mixture the same as this one or if you can only go to the muffler, then you can't really do each cylinder individually. So you just make the balance the same and hope it's okay from there. Uh, being a two valve, the air bleeds, I can make it all work. There's one air bleed there. It's a horizontal air bleed. And the vertical air bleed down the other side. Underneath the throttle bodies. Just there. They're wound all the way in at the moment. They were about a turn out, I think. And they're wound all the way in so I can adjust the running balance or the sink between the two cylinders. And the adjustment for that if we can see it is this little screw up here just there which can be annoying to get to at times but long screwdriver you'll get in there this bike I think is a quite a way out of balance I've not worked on this but well, I have worked on this bike before, but I haven't set it up before. And when I did the TPS setup, it appeared it was a long way out of balance. We're about to find out. This bike has got stain tunes, so you might not be able to hear me terribly well. We'll see how we go. So I started the ST2 up, and it should sound funny. It sounds funny to me. It sounds like it's out of balance. That's the horizontal cylinder there, and the vertical's up here. So it's about six centimetres of mercury out of balance. 
and that's consistent with what it looked like to me. So I'm going to wind this in to close the horizontal down because the vertical is what's defining it and uh, we'll see if that makes a difference. At the moment it's running on the fast idle lever. in the ST4S video I just see how the radiator warms up there's heat on the left hand side now and on the right hand side's hot too it's got 64 degrees on the dash so the thermostat's opened at 64 or so and that's fine both sides of the radiator are hot that's all that really matters Probably warm enough now to do the balance adjustment finally. So I think we'll call that pretty good. The horizontal cylinder didn't trail for quite a bit of it but then it comes good and sometimes you get that so again it's just the best compromise you can come up with now we'll wind the air blades out of turn and start the idle setup at 75 degrees so we can start using the gas analyzer on it so we're going to check the horizontal first and then the vertical and see how close they are Gives. 
in a head of pies we had 3.2 and 3.8. That's the sample in the muffler, which is about 3.2%. It should be about an average of the, the two head of pipes. I noticed when the fan came on, it leaned out a bit, or a fair bit, and that made me think maybe the battery voltage was a bit low. So I checked the battery voltage and it was idling about 11.9 volts. If you gave it some revs, you know, four or 5,000 revs, it was 13 at most. And usually the issue is, on these, is the original wiring loom, which goes in the regulator up here. And this is a 97, so it's still got, it's a 98 model, but it's still got the old single phase alternator in it. It's got a, a late model regulator in it, but it's using the original wiring harness that so goes here into this big connector here and would down around and through to the battery. And that's what I usually find the problem is. So I've made this loom up here. This goes into the regulator. It's, had, it's got a later reg on it. And these ones go, this goes to the maxi fuse, which I reuse the original maxi fuse holder. That's the earth side, goes to the battery. And from the maxi fuse, we use this little piece to go to the battery here. And that bypasses the bike's wiring loom. And it tends to fix this problem. So hopefully it will fix this one. Just have a quick chat about the idle trimmer in the ECU. Let's see how close we can get without blocking our light. The trim pot is this little thing here and it's just a little potentiometer. It has a total travel of 270 degrees which is 135 degrees either side of the midpoint if you like. At the moment as it sits it's about I'd say about 10 degrees to the rich side and they always say use a, a plastic or a non-metallic screwdriver. I use this little steel one, always careful, but the idea behind a plastic one is if you touch anything else in the ECU, you don't cook anything. Rich is all the way around anti-clockwise until it stops and that's it. That's full rich. If you want to go to full lean, back in, spin it around and that's full lean so it's only 270 degrees so control yourself be gentle ideally you would think the midpoint is where you want it but that's not always the case uh, again with all this stuff you give it what it wants this was about plus 10 or so degrees it's a bit lean so i'll probably go to about plus 45 degrees and just check the idle mixture again. If you have an original EEPROM in it, this Ultimap EEPROM won't talk to Morali compatible diagnostics, but if you have an original Morali EEPROM in it, uh, which will be a, you know, a Ducati one or a Ducati Performance or something like that, then the Guzzi Diag will show you the idle trimmer setting as a number and it will go from minus 127 to plus 127 I would think and that's just a numerical interpretation of where the setting is at the moment it's about plus 45 degrees and I guess that's a third rich so that would make it about plus 42 or something and that plus 42 just gives you an idea of where it is and visually you will see the same thing if it moves more than 270 degrees then someone's broken it and it probably won't work, or well, you can't adjust it anyway. So just be very, very careful with it. So now I'm back into the ST2. Hopefully it won't lean out like it did when the fans come on. And so we'll start checking the idle mixture again. 
Now I've got the idle trimmer at plus 45 degrees. So I've got about 3.8, 3.7% on the horizontal. Leaning out as we go. Let's see what the vertical says. really makes no sense at all. It should be richer than it was before, but it's... quite a lot. We're nearly 5% now. Let's see what the uh, horizontal is like. again on the horizontal. Might wind the air blades out a touch just to raise the idle speed and that should bring the idle mixture back to where we want it. About an extra eighth of a turn. Hasn't landed out a great deal. On the vertical. So they're both about the same now, so I'll just take the idle trimmer back a little bit till we get sort of 4.8 to 5%. Same between four and a half and five. It's got an aftermarket EEPROM, it's got open mufflers. So we'll try the horizontal. There we go. About 4.8% on both. You can see the hydrocarbons are really low at 350 parts per million. Oxygen's low at 1%. So it's really nice, it's really happy. And if we go, I'll take a setting out of the muffler. Let's see what the muffler says. Should be about the same. Oh. It's a bit leaner. Oxygen's the same. A bit more hydrocarbons. That might just be the, the gas sitting around in a pipe, maybe. But it's definitely leaner. Go back into the horizontal, the thermo fan is on. I'm not sure if that's clouding it again. 
quite possibly it is a thermo fan. It's down to 4.2, which is what it was in the muffler. Oh, a bit higher now. It's just a bit strange at times, so you just go back to the muffler. Then we're back into the vertical header. You can see it's a bit up and down, but I think I'll leave it there. Between four and a half and five percent should be nice. And the thermo fan is off now. The thermo fan might be having some influence on it. I'll check the item. I'll check the battery voltage again, but it was only down around idling about 11.5 volts before. It's got an extra volt at full at full charge now to the muffler. Until we get to the muffler with no thermo fan on. There you go. Similar-ish. Doesn't really back up my theory like I'd hoped I would. So that's the ST2 done. It's a bit uh, interrupted with having to stop and make up a wiring loom to get good battery voltage. And I probably find that even now with the, the change, it's still dropping to 11.8 volts or so when it's idling. You might find after a 20 minute test ride that the battery will be up and it might idle at you know 12 and a half or 12.3 volts. That may make a little bit of difference to the idle mixture. I might even check it again at the muffler when I go back after the road test just to see if it has changed. The idle trimmer in the ECU is probably about Mm, plus 75 degrees or so plus 70 degrees maybe so it's a bit richer than it was uh, that may impact fuel consumption the TPS has also been reset so there's a few things changed about it and I'll just ask the owner to let me know how he finds fuel consumption riding that sort of thing the idle trimmer setting is a little bit uh, variable in as much as if it uses more fuel than it did you can just crank it back. Four and a half, five percent is what we used to aim for. That's what the bike should have been set up to when Dwayne did the uh, original EEPROM mapping. So that's our guide, but you can crank it back to three percent. It would probably still idle just nice and it would lean it out all round, but because it's not actually a percentage change, it's a pulse width change. It has much more impact at low pulse widths than at high pulse widths. When you put the plug back in the ECU, which is this big plug here, that's just to keep the water out, but you really need to tape over it to just get some, some race tape or something and just put it over the top there. They can get water into them, even up under the seat. That's just a good way to keep them a little bit drier. Our final settings on this bike, the horizontal air bleed in here is about one and an eighth turnout and the vertical air bleed, which is down under here, is about one turnout. And that's the sort of numbers I would expect. If you see two turns, that's usually a bit too much. Half a turn is probably not enough, uh, but something around about a turn is what you would sort of expect to see. The idle trimmer is probably a little bit richer than I would expect to see it on one of these, but I don't really recall now. And I might check the mixture again after I've ridden it.
So I've been for a ride on the ST2, so now that I've come back, we're about 6.2% at the muffler. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I have to turn it off and uh, get the seat off and get into the ECU and lean off a little bit. I do like to not turn them off and restart them when I do this check after riding, just because without turning the key off, you guarantee that you got the same result you had out in the road. It did feel a little bit rich at places on the road, so I'm happy that it's too rich now. Idle trimmer is about 75 degrees rich. I'll go back to about 40 degrees rich. See what we get there. I'm back to a bit over 5%. over four percent I think given how it felt on the road I might leave it at that <laughs> 